duty. that is your duty right Absolutely. beyond that and you are happy to do mm -hmm. the duty mm -hmm. if someone is in, uh, enrolled in the army or any other forces mm -hmm. you are called to report for duty mm -hmm. <coughs> and if you say you know if you don't go back or you say i am not feeling well or something you mm -hmm. can just uh, then you will be court martialed most mm -hmm. probably right mm -hmm. so it is reporting for duty mm -hmm. just like that every individual mm -hmm. has the soul of duty mm -hmm. and you can't get away from that so no one should be too much proud about the fact that you are doing this service or that service mm -hmm. because finally you are doing it for yourself mm -hmm. you are giving back to the society the very society the very system that gave everything to you yes. our children must realize and now this is one lesson that i would like all parents to listen if mm -hmm. they can only right mm -hmm. don't just give this idea mm -hmm. of saying that you know i have done this for you and that i am looking after you and mm -hmm. that you have gone to a private school or mm -hmm. to another international school and mm -hmm. therefore i have paid for your education mm -hmm. whatever you pay whether mm -hmm. you have gone through the government thing of course mm -hmm. is free education mm -hmm. or remember that you were able to do that to your child mm -hmm. because as you said a little while earlier mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of sri lankans have worked tirelessly mm -hmm. the lesser privileged ones mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. going through utter misery mm -hmm. for the whole of their life mm -hmm. doing pl plucking of tea leaves mm -hmm. working as garment factory workers mm -hmm. either here or there mm -hmm. working as domestic kids mm -hmm. getting hammered and brut mm -hmm. brutalized in various ways mm -hmm. right then going up coconut trees maybe falling we have never mm -hmm. had the time and mm -hmm. the fishermen who go every night Risking into the hole life. every night they mm -hmm. risk their life mm -hmm. not knowing whether they are coming back mm -hmm. and that is the fish that we have brought mm -hmm. the, the, the farmer who goes through droughts and uh, uh, floods and all mm -hmm. this and sometimes takes cyanide mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. kills himself mm -hmm. right so this is the sweat and blood and the energy of the ordinary common man who mm -hmm. has got into all our bodies mm -hmm. we have been the in between brokers who mm -hmm. have brought it and given it to our children mm -hmm. right but they were nourished not because i got into a paddy field or i went up a coconut tree mm -hmm. right someone else had done that hard work mm -hmm. and i have translated them and given the best naturally as a parent i would give mm -hmm. so what i would tell my <coughs> children is mm -hmm. that what you have got is the maximum that i have given you mm -hmm. but that is only 40% mm -hmm. of what you have actually got mm -hmm. the balance has come from the ordinary mm -hmm. common man mm -hmm. so your duty right mm -hmm. wherever you go in the world however how you climb in your social ladder mm -hmm. is to give back to the society mm -hmm. right from whichever part of the world it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if you can please come back and serve the society mm -hmm. right? right if not you can be in any, any part of the world okay. but your qualification that piece of paper that you hold which you call uh, very proudly as a phd or whatever mm -hmm. is absolutely not worth the paper that is printed on <laughs> if you do not convert it and give it back to the people of the land mm -hmm. right otherwise it's very much better for you to tear it into four and put it into a dustbin that's what i had told my children mm -hmm. right so please give it back now my daughter actually got an offer in the un mm -hmm. for a short while mm -hmm. to work mm -hmm. right but she gave that up and she came back here mm -hmm. wanting to support me and the cause mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and today she is also working for you oh yes you <laughs> as well yeah. and i think she is doing quite a good job by you oh, yes. say right <laughs> not because she is my daughter I'm but sure. i have seen that yeah, happen we are talking about deepa mala who is uh, who is one of our presenters and a wonderful bubbly character and uh, yeah please so so that i think is what we should do mm -hmm. so this entering into competition and trying to cut the other man mm -hmm. without looking at the institution mm -hmm. right we are we have to work as a team now this is what we need our people have to learn mm -hmm. that there is greater pleasure in achieving something working as a team mm -hmm. rather than shining as an individual mm -hmm. and in the process cutting the other man who is coming up mm -hmm. right because you feel so insecure mm -hmm. right you have you do not have the necessary self confidence mm -hmm. so if you don't have that you see everyone who is around you as a threat yes. right but if you are really doing what you know mm -hmm. right why should we worry about the other person let, i mean we have to live and let live yeah. and why can't we get together yes. and develop the institution yes. and through the institution we can give so much more than an individual mm -hmm. i think uh, president abraham lincoln mm -hmm. has said that if you don't care as to who gets the credit mm -hmm. for what you do right you can achieve so much more mm -hmm. and i think in sri lanka we have all the necessary resources at our command mm -hmm. only thing that we did not have is the human will to develop mm -hmm. and i think what we have to now say like president obama has said that yes we can mm -hmm. i must say that yes we will yes. right we should get together and this is the post conflict era yes. where all of us have to look at the country mm -hmm. not talking about all these things and trying to point, point fingers, fingers at other fingers yeah. and say i mean who is the perfect yeah. man you tell me one person <coughs> who is perfect mm -hmm. right will you tell me one person who has not played out the country at mm -hmm. some stage or other in your own life either by not paying tax or this mm -hmm. or that whatever mm -hmm. right no one has been honest in this country 100% mm -hmm. so what right have i got to point a finger at you and say that you are the rogue when i am also rogue <laughs> right the argument if at all will be that who is the bigger rogue 
that of course we can argue for the risk test for our lives, right? So, because everyone finally has not been that honest. Yeah. But then while accepting that we have not done the right things, mm -hmm. why can't we also do more and more good things so that the entire, the, the, it, there's a resource, mm -hmm. the, the resources are pooled together mm -hmm. and through that we can really mm -hmm. go on to the next level. Okay. I mean, to maybe Singapore, India, yeah. all these places, they have done it, so yeah. why can't we do it, yeah. right? So my plea to the parents as well as to the children, uh, teachers mm -hmm. is to tell the students what is your role in the society, mm -hmm. why are you doing this, first to earn for yourself, you go up the ladder, there's no harm, mm -hmm. right, you shine, mm -hmm. we will be happy when you are right at the top as parents, but then if you don't give back to the system, mm -hmm. then of course as a father I will be a miserable father if my child does not do that, right, and I hope, hope most of the others will take that as the cue yeah. and not unnecessarily push their children okay. to do all things that they could not do when they were uh, uh, what they had in life and now trying to do that and get that through the children and okay. put them into utter misery yeah. and suffering which ultimately sometimes you know, I mean there were crashes in front of you mm -hmm. right so you have to be very careful because you though it may be your child mm -hmm. he is not 100 percent yours mm -hmm. thereafter it's another total individual mm -hmm. so do not mess up your child's life, okay. right, and be happy and try to see what they are good at rather than trying to do medicine or engineering or this, uh, mm -hmm. support them, mm -hmm. right. What now you know what you do today, right, as an individual, you get, uh, take mm -hmm. great pressure, mm -hmm. right. Now aren't you happy with that, yeah. right, this is what you have to look after your child. Mr. Uh, Abhisekar, uh, I mean, you've you been very emotional on this, which, which shows the genuineness of your heart, you know, your, it, it yeah. comes from the bottom of your heart, you know, and, and re I'm really, really taken up with, you know, with the emotion and with the love that you have in what you say. With that, we have to come uh, to us, uh, to our next break. Uh, please stay tuned. We'll be back right after this very short break. Thank you.